Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, many of, ordin- many of our ordinary citizens that were directly and indirectly involved in the liberation struggle are still not recognized, and their stories have fallen on deaf ears. One such unsung hero is Fanel Mbali. He assumed the responsibility of telling his own tale in a read that he titled In Transit, autobiography of a South African freedom fighter, and he joins me in studio now. So, good morning. Thank you very much for joining me on Morning Live. Good morning, uh, good morning, uh, listeners. Let, let's talk about the story because it started from a question, who are you, by one of your children and wanted to understand who you were. What did that trigger in you and, and, the, and that, why was that the main reason to pen your story? Because uh, <clears throat> this was when I was in exile and my, <clears throat> excuse me, my child uh, did not speak is it cause or any other thing? She mm. spoke is it true to her mother's tongue, and uh, she hadn't heard me talk about my past, because my past was deep in the struggle, and it was not an easy thing to talk about just to anybody. Mm. And therefore, she went to school when she came back. Uh, when we returned from exile, she went to school and had other children talking about me, and I'm her father. And she was hearing things from them for the first time about me. So that's why she came in and asked me, Papa, who are you? Uh, then I thought, man, I can answer this question. The best thing for me is, let me write a book, because if I tell her who I am, she's going to forget. She'll be confused. That's why I wrote the book for her, to answer her own question. Uh, your story is such an interesting story because it talks about growing up with your parents because both, by growing up with your grandparents because both your parents were, were uh, uh, working away and then eventually your mom sneaking you and your brother or you and your sister into a, a white area when it was illegal at the time then eventually fighting to have an education going off to college then heeding the call to take up the liberation struggle then going, uh, even issues around being kidnapped it almost reads like a blockbuster the film there's just so many things how difficult was it to tell the story and leave out certain parts because you couldn't tell your entire story could you in fact i haven't t- told the entire story you're right uh, it is precisely also because i wanted it to be understood very clearly by anybody whatever age they were or whatever little education they had. I didn't want a complicated story, or even a story that is just dry with facts only. Mm. Let there be some kind of relief as as a person is reading. So I was led actually by the historical events uh, chronologically happening, and that helped me also uh, not to think too much about uh, how I was going to craft it and so on. I was telling the story, but making sure that they, they connect and they continue the same kind of, uh, uh, what you call, the, the, they hold the same line. So that's, that's basically what I did. <clears throat> this story, the, uh, your story, uh, it was reflected, and we talked about it in the intro, there are so many uh, Africans, South Africans, that have played a critical part in where we find ourselves today, and yet their story is not told. How do we tell their story very quickly? How do we tell their story? Uh, my belief is that everybody uh, must tell their story because they're not going to be the same way. Even though we participated in the same struggle, we're in different areas, doing different things. Some of them, uh, you could not even mention that you were in them. And therefore, uh, it's not the whole, it's no, nobody can tell the whole story by themselves. It needs, I think, um, to be told by different people from different angles until the whole basket maybe is full or almost full. I, that's the way I can put it. Okay, we've run out of time, but it's a really interesting read because we are running towards the uh, local government elections and it's always uh, important to familiarize yourself with our history and how we find ourselves to be at this very critical point. Uh, Mr. Fanele Mbali, he wrote an interesting autobiography. It's called In Transit, Autobiography of a South African Freedom Fighter. Go and get it. Please read the story and let's have a discussion. They can add break, don't get anywhere.